Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh Heather. from the Molten Meeple, and tonight we are going to be playing Dead Man's Cabal from Pandasaurus Games. Um, we, <laughs> I, I, was I was supposed to waiting say. for you to do something crazy. Ah. Um, we got to play test this game a bunch um, when it wasn't a game yet. <laughs> I guess it was still a game, but um, we play tested this a bunch. Hey AJ, thanks for stopping. And um, this looks so much better than what I made for our playtest. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's fun. Uh, we got our names in the rule books. That's cool. None of y'all care about that, but we do. But uh, yeah, we're gonna show you how to play. So uh, let's go over to the board, and I'll show you how to play Dead Man's Cabal. Hi, Mike. So this is a Pandasaurus game. So it's kind of a table hog when you lay everything out. Hand me some of those little thingies over there. Um, these are all the different boards. They're modular. You can lay them out wherever you want. There's no specific way. Usually the sanctum goes in the middle and you kind of put everything around there. It does have these cool little uh, hallways that you can put in between them. There's some short ones and some long ones to, to max it all out. But to get it all on our camera, I, uh, I left those out just to keep it short. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to... Uh, we are necromancers and we're having a party. But we don't really have a whole lot of friends since we are necromancers. So we're going to be trying to uh, raise some party goers to uh, party with us. And we're going to see who can do the best um, at raising the dead. And the way we're going to do that is with all these boards out here. So I'm just going to kind of go through each board one by one to... Uh, explain what we got to do. So the first one over here is the uh, ossuary. This is the main part of your turn. So on your turn we have a bag of skulls here. It's a cool bag. And let's see if I can show you one of the skulls. Uh, just so you can see how cool these little things are. Mm, there, there he is. So they're cool little sculpts. Ah, there it is. <laughs> but they are red Red, black, white, and gold. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, it is a, it is a cool looking board. So we're going to be using these skulls to um, raise our dead, and we we start with a couple cards. Start with a couple cards in our hand, and then we have some more that we can get here. So the main part of our turn is going to be coming out, drawing a skull out of the bag, and then we're going to put it on one of these three rows here on the ossuary. And what that's going to do is push all the other skulls over to the right. So whichever skull comes off the end, that is the one that you're going to take into your hand. Um, the other thing you have here is you can kind of see in the middle there are some skulls underneath those. And those are going to tell what um, action the public action is going to be. So after you get your skull, you're going to be able to do a private action. And the way you do that is, I forgot to give us each grab us each one. Um, everybody gets one of each skull to start. But you're going to pay one of those skulls to do one of these actions. So you can see we have gold here, we have white, we have red, and this one is black. So that's all the colors of the skulls. So you're going to pay one of these back to the bag, and you're going to take that action on your own. Um, at the sepulcher, is that right? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So over here you can um, take one bone, which are going to be uh, currency up here that helps you uh, do more stuff. So you can either take one bone and take one of these skulls, and then you replace it when you're done. Or you can pay a bone out of your supply if you have some, and take two skulls. Or you can pay two bones and take three skulls. So that's going to give you more skulls to use. Um, over here at the Anthenarium. <clears throat> um, you're going to um, take three bones and get no cards, or take one bone and get one card, or pay a bone and fill your hand back up to five, which is the max hand size. And these cards are what you're going to be using to, to raise the dead. So as you can see, this guy here, he costs one black, dang it, he costs one black, three white, and that's what you're going to need 
when we get out to here to raise him. So that's going to give you your cards that you're going to use to, to be raising these people to help you. Um, the other place over here is the Scriptorum. And this is where you're going to get, um, what are these, runes? What are they called runes? Um, the runes, and as you can see on the bottom of these cards, there are a, different, a couple different runes on some of them. Some of them have one, some of them have none, some of them have two. And um, what that is, is when you perform the ritual to raise this person, you can pay two of these runes if you have them, if you want to, onto that card when you raise it. And that is going to let you take one of your little cubes that we have here. We're you, not starting over, Jason. <laughs> you can take one of your cubes and put it on one of these um, spots over here on the oracle. And this is a betting track that's going to score you points at the end of the game. So you can see each card also has points on it up here at the top. So you're going to get points from the cards, and then you're going to get points from stuff that you bid on in the oracle. So at the Scriptorum, you can either take a bone and one rune, or you can pay a bone and take two runes, and then after that, you can also pay one, two, or three bones on this track over here to take one of these dark runes, and those are extra. There's a whole big pile of them here that refill, and this is kind of like a market that gives you more. And then the last place we have is the Sanctum. Um, the Sanctum is where we're going to be placing these skulls that we get in different spots, and you can see all the lines, how they all match up. That's how you are going to complete these cards. So let's just say, I'm going to grab these ones right here from the top row. Just remember it was white, black, black. No, it wasn't. Or black, white, white. You know what I mean. So let's say you have it like this. So if you had these three skulls out here like this on your turn and you went to the sanctum, uh, the first thing you can do is place a skull, which I already did. So you can take a bone, place a skull, or you can pay two bones, or pay a bone, place two skulls. And then after you do that, you can come over to this side and you can perform one ritual for free or you can pay two bones to perform two rituals. The way you perform rituals is, as you see on this card, you need one black and three white. So right here you have one black, oh crap, and three white. <laughs> and as long as they're connected in a single line, it, you know, it can turn, go any way, whatever, but as long as they're connected, you can use those skulls to complete this thing. So then what you're going to do is, normally you would mark them, but especially in just two players, it doesn't get too crowded so we can remember what we do. And if it's a public action, the other person is going to get a chance to do it too. And then the color that's marked here, you have to remove one of those bones from the sanctum. The rest of them stay that you can use in the next turn or next rituals. Now if you were to do more than one ritual, you can use those same bones more than once. You would just have to get rid of more than one at the end. Skulls. Did I say bones? Yes, you did. I meant skulls. So, I mean, skull is a bone, technically. There are bones. It's a head there. bone. But yeah, so that's what you're going to do. If you go on any of these places that have a bone, you get to pick that bone up, put it into your supply, and um, that's pretty much it. You're going to be, you're going to go until somebody either play or um, has seven rituals, so they do their seventh card. You finish that turn, do one more turn and then score or when somebody places their last cube same thing you uh, finish that turn do one more turn and then score so i think we're going to get started now Are you ready mm -hmm. um hey jason jimmy jessica jake oh, lots of jays here tonight mike. mike michael thanks for coming it's almost time man i'm waiting but um i think uh jake you played this with us i think didn't you Probably not. Uh, I'm going back here. All right. So here we are. We're going to get started. So you want to go first since you got the bag? No. All right. Give me the bag. Fine. I'll go first. I don't care. Oh, but the only thing, the other thing I didn't say. So after you pay your skull and do your um, personal, individual like turn, then we have a public turn. And the way that's determined is this middle row here, whichever color has the most skulls you're going to do that. So right now it's white, red, or black. There's no, nothing has the majority, so I would get to pick white, red, or black. After you do that, this little uh, 
cow skull over here is going to go on that color and then the next turn you can't do that color as a public action you can still do it as your private if you want but so I'll reach in and grab a white and I don't know what I want to do yet I guess you can never have oh I can't do that I guess I'll go here which pushes this guy over I get the gold and I'm going to go ahead and pay the gold and I'm going to take a bone and a card and take this guy and you do have a max hand size of five so if you get to five you can't draw anymore oh the other the other way I should say what these things are for scoring over here go ahead and draw yours oh wait we gotta do our public mm. um, before we do the public action this over here is um, you score points for every black skull used in your rituals um, this one is every skull left over you score points for mm -hmm. extra skull you have left over in your supply this is for every rune left over in your supply or rune used I think it's, it's rune, rune used, used. Um, this is for every red skull, white skull, gold skull used. And then this just scores you a base amount of points. I think it's 25 for first and... Well, there's no second one, two players. Yeah. And they all score you... All of these other ones score you, like, so much for first and so much for second. So maybe there is. Yeah, I think there is. So our public is going to be red, I think. So I get to do red. I'm going to take another bone. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the white. So, refill that. I'm going to look real quick into the scoring. Oh, that's the, 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 the rune one is... When you take a rune from the scriptorium here, your or scriptorium, when you take a rune, you're going to place a cube onto the spot you took, and then whoever has the biggest grouping of one, you know, of your cubes scores the top one, and then whoever gets second gets second. All right, my turn. All right. What goes out there? And we did red, so we cannot do red again this turn. I'm going to go turn that fan on real quick. Thank you. Which one do you want to put it on? Um, this one. All right. Okay. I'm back. So what'd you do? Oh, you got to pay to do yours. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing gold or white. Oh, you want me to... you got to pay one of those to pick what you're doing for your personal. I'm not trying to look at your hand, no. even though I just did. That's fine, I don't care. <laughs> it, doesn't, it's, it doesn't really matter too much. I think we're going to do... We can't do red, right? Well, this is yours. You can do yeah. red if you want. Oh. Because it's your personal. We just can't do red as a public. Well, why did I put the white one over there? I already did my personal. What'd you do? I drew a white. And I went over there. Huh? Dad. Your personal, you draw a skull, put Dad. it here. Just a second, bub. The one that comes out goes into your hand. Okay. Then you pay one of those to do whichever one you oh, want to do. Lord. What, bub? I have to go, Okay, go ahead. Well, you have to help me. I will. Go on. You Just have... let me know when you're done. <laughs> Text me. Hey, kids. Um... I'm Sometimes sorry. when you're playing games, your kids gotta poop. It's a, it was a long day at work, so I'm gonna go to red. Yeah. So I'm pay for go to red, right? Yeah. Take whatever I want from red. And take a bone. And take a bone. 
Why are you putting your hand back in the bag? To refill oh, to refill. what I took. Okay. Now you get to pick either white or gold for us to do together. Okay. Sorry. It's I'm all right. Slow. I think I'm going to pick we gold. We only play tested this like 30 times. I know. <laughs> I'm going to go gold. All right. What, Bob? He'll be fine. I'm going to take... Nico's hungry. This card. That's the cat, by the way. And a bone. All right. All right. What's our max hand limit? Five. Five. So I am going to, at this point, I'm just going to take three bones. I like having bones to play with. All right, so you're done. Mm -hmm. So that was gold. Cool. So then this guy moves down to gold, so we know we can't get gold again. Uh, what do I need? I need... I'm going to go here. Push this out. And get black. Don't think I'm quite ready yet. Wrapped in plastic. So I'm going to do red again also. And I'm going to pay a bone. Actually, I'm going to pay... Yeah, just one bone to take two skulls. And refill those. I love these little skulls. They're so much better than the skulls we had. And then I'm going to go ahead and do black as a public. So I am going to pay a bone to place two. With no runes? Hmm. Huh? I'm just placing skulls, man. That doesn't doesn't necessarily mean stuff's going down. And now it's your turn. You can take a bone and place one, or pay a bone and place two. I'm gonna grab. I have our prototype stuff over here, parts of it. So this is part of our. Uh, prototype for when we play tested this game. If I put this here, I get to take the bone, right? Yep, I should have done that. Didn't, didn't think about it. So as you can see, uh, these were our skulls that we had, that we used when we were play testing. They're in little uh, coin holders, punched out. Yeah, <laughs> it's your turn. Um, I'm not going to do a ritual, so that's it. It's okay, the so end of my, my turn, turn anyway, yeah. Alright. So you go ahead and take the first part of your turn and do your private action, and I will be back. <laughs> I'm coming, bub. So I drew red. And let's see. I'm going to want that one. So we're working towards this one. And let's put it down here. So it goes over, over, and over. Yay! <clears throat> that was quick. <laughs> Alright, so I did the bottom row, and I'm gonna pay. Hey, Rue, thanks for stopping. Um, gonna pay black. Black. You didn't do your personal yet? No, I waited for you. <laughs> I, I trust you. Well, I wanted Not to really. Share. I took my phone and was watching from the other room to make sure you didn't cheat. Did you really? No, I, I didn't. Was <laughs> so. But yeah, these little bones for currency are cool. And, and the skulls are awesome. I'm going to... Don't mind me. I'm just playing with my skulls. You know what? I'm going to take that back. I've been watching a lot of Mindhunter. No, I'm sitting here playing with skulls. You can't take it back. You put it in the bag. I know. I'm just kidding. I'm going to take my wipe. No. <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm going to do it without the runes because I'm stupid. You're doing black? Yeah. You're going to take my crap, aren't you? Don't take my skulls. So, two black, one red, and one gold to put this. And you're going to get rid of my black? Crazy lady here. Luckily, I banked me an extra one. And so, do, do, do. You I have, have to get to rid get of one, one of the black. black. So, just back in the back. And that was my personal action. Now we have to do red. 
so up to the sepulcher. These words the are these, these words are hard. <laughs> words are hard. And the anthrax. I don't know why you keep looking at me. I'm not a <laughs> necromancer. Um, so what's ossuary? Um, Osiris. Born of Osiris. Yes. <laughs> And I'm sure there is a band called Oracle, so we're all good now. Um, hmm. Sure. <laughs> you wanted a strawberry pop tart. So I get to go up there. Mm -hmm. I am going to take a bone. I forgot my bone. And take this white. Refill that. It All is right. very nicely done, Mike. Yeah, the, pleasantly surprised. In this bag, I mean, it's it's little things like this, but this bag is freaking thick and heavy. I think this went retail. It either did or it is soon. It's a good uh, good Halloween game. Mm-hmm. So I got black. I think I'm going to put it here because that's going to make black our public. I'm going to pay white to do my private. No, that's not yours. Oh, shit. Shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Start over. And I'm going to pay one bone to take two runes. <sighs> Oh, I guess I should look to see what I'm going to fill on this I told one. You it was a long day. I can do both of those. So I need green, blue, red. So I'm going to take two. I'm going to take this green and this blue. And now we go to our public action, which there's more red here, but we can't do red because we already did, so it's going to be black. So I am going to pay a bone to place two skulls I'm not messing that up again all right now you Left. So I'm going to pay a bone on myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here I am. In place. Get the moves. Or two skulls. Your turn. My turn. My turn. Sorry. Message and Becky again. Sorry. Um, all right, so oh, no. now it's my. Did you drop a skull? No, I dropped a bone. Oh. Yes, all right, so now it's my turn for a ritual. I'm going oh. to pay. What? Did you forget about the ritual? Well, I didn't know you could do both. Well, yeah, we always do both. Okay. So I'm going to pay two bones, and I'm going to do two rituals. My first ritual is going to be. Oh no, I can't do that ritual. Crud. Crud. Ah, and I can't do the other one. So give me those two bones back. Give me my bones. I didn't plan that out well. Yeah, for oh, I was hoping that you would put a black up there and that, that would let me do too. But I did not. As a matter of fact, I did it wrong and I can't even do one. <laughs> Crud. All right, well, can you do a ritual? I don't want to. All right, good. Well, I messed that up. So that was black for our public. All right, can you put that at the top, please? Top. So, you get a white. And I'm going to pay white. And I get out of my scriptorium. And I'm going to pay a bone as well. Yes, well. We're going to be doing red, aren't we? can't believe I messed that up. Alright, so that was my personal action. Public action is red. Yep. Alright. Um, 
And there is no limit to how many skulls you can have, or bones, or runes. You can have all the skulls and bones you want. You just can't have too many cards. I think I'm just going to take a bone and this little red guy. I'm going to take a bone and a black. You didn't want me to pull? Uh, it doesn't matter. And my turn? Yeah, your turn. We need to get rid of that. Actually, we don't need to get rid of that. So I'm going to put this guy here. That was red, right? Mm hmm black and I'm going to put these face down pay and white? no okay because remember. remember you put the runes on them if you oh yeah that's right so I'm going to pay a white to come here I'm going to pay a bone to I think I just lost a cube <laughs> either that or I know I lost that cube. <laughs> Jeez. That's right down there. Are there two of them down there? I see one. All right, so I'm going to be doing this guy. No, these two. So I have green and blue. I need green and red. So I will take this green and red right there. Go to those two spots right there. There are two down here. I did lose two. So trying, trying to end the game early. Oh, yeah. All right, so now we're back to public action. Since there's two red, we can't do that. We go to black. So I am going to pay a bone and place two skulls. One is going to be this white one. And one is going to be... I might as well put him here. Well, no, I can go here because that lines up there and get that bone too. Bones. I paid a bone and got two bones, but now there's no bones. I don't have any bones. Are you done? Yep. So it's your turn to place... That Sanctum's pretty full right now. I kind of wish I had more cards. Well, I guess you can only do two rituals at a time anyway. Yep. So let's see if I did that right. Nope, I did not do that right. Wait, can I move my skull? I put in a bone bag. I was just trying to maximize getting that bone. Didn't really pay attention to, to... Didn't line up where I needed it to. Yeah, the one thing you can't do is like, say I needed um, two black, a gold, and a white. I wouldn't be able to go this way, like through that one. They have to connect in order. So I'm going to pay a bone. Pay a bone. To place to... Which place were I place? Which ones were I? Which ones were I place? We're we good English. I'll take that bone. See, you got the bone. All right, you done then? Did you place two? Yes. Oh, all right. I'm surprised. Jason must have left because all this bone talk, he wouldn't have been able to keep quiet. She's a veterinarian. All right, so I am going to. <laughs> I'm going to pay two bones. Oh, Lord. And I'm going to do two rituals this time for real gonna do these two. All right. So I am going to do um, two black, two white, and then two black, one white, and a gold. And then I have to get rid of both of those black pretty much. I thought they waited, you waited until... I do. I'm just showing you that's what I'm gonna have to get rid of. And then I'm also going to put runes on each of these which allow me to place four cubes. That one, that one, and that one, and that one again. All right, my turn. And again, these that you're bidding on over here, um, if you have the most cubes there, you get the most points. And then if you have the second most cubes, I should go to see exactly what the points are. Um, for the skulls, it's five points. 
uh, for the most or three points for the second most. So as of right now, I have the most skulls there. I would get five points per black skull over here, so that'd be 20 points. Who's and then turn is it? Your yours to. Do you um, have a first player token? No, it's yours to to oh, do I know, the ritual. But who did? All right. So. And then the runes is four points for each cube in your largest group of cubes on the scriptorium. And two points for second most. Um, the Cursed Star is worth 20 points for the first and 10 points for the second. And then the All Skull leftover is four points per leftover skull you have regardless of color. So that's what all the, all the scoring over here is. Did you put two cubes up? <laughs> you just want that? That's it. Alright, so I have to remove these two black. You have to remove a golden white. Alright. I'm not put them in my stash this time. I need some cards now. So that was my my draw, so it's your draw. Okay, that's what I was asking. I don't want Kurt Cobain there. <laughs> I think in the... Uh, hand me that box real quick. I didn't put the... Uh, it was like a mini expansion that came with it. I didn't put those cards in yet. Wow. Help. There's some cool ones here. <laughs> what are you doing? Is this one off? Yes. And, whoa, we did black. I already moved it. Here's the extra ones. There's some. There's like Bambi. Looks like Amelia Earhart. I don't know what that is. Looks like a walrus. It's a little kitty cat. Oh. Um. There's a Triceratops. So yeah, you throw these things in there. So, oh, look at the little. Oh, but he's got a monocle. <gasps> and look at there. Greedo. He died by the hands of Solo. And then this one is uh, Lord of the Rings, maybe? No, there's a bard. It's just a bard, a warrior, dwarf, and an elf. But yeah, there's uh, extra cards here, and these all, you know, change the game up a little bit. <clears throat> all right, so. so we're going red. Yes, we are. Back to red. And... I'm running low on bones. Well, I just paid two to get three. Do you want to take one, since you only took one? Yeah. And I'm going to take one, and... I'm going to take this gold. Yeah, sure. Uh-oh. What? No, it's... Um, it's catching. That was close. All right, so that's your turn? Yep. So as you can see, um, the... The turns where you're doing rituals, they take a little bit longer, but most of the turns go pretty quick. Um, red. You need to knock those red out of there. Uh, I'm going to go here. Yeah. Knock this red out. Gives me a red. I'm going to go gold myself. And I'm just going to take three bones. And then um, it's gold for the public action. And I am going to pay a bone and draw up to five. So I'm going to take these two guys. I'm going to take this guy. And I'm going to take one off the top. And I'm going to pay a bone. Draw up to five also. I'm just give me five off the top. You want all five off the top? Mm hmm You don't have any cards? Nope. Where's all your cards, man? Right there, man. Alright, so back to you. Draw out of the bag. Mmm. So, I 
am going to... Where are you going? Um, middle. Middle? Middleland? Gives you red. And I that means we will be doing white. Go white. Hi Levi, thanks for coming out. Again, this is uh, Dead Man's Cabal from Pandasaurus. And I'm going to pay eight. Sorry, that's probably loud. To get so the box out of the way. Oh, did you do white? You didn't really screw me. You just kind of screwed yourself because you put yourself in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. What, you don't want to do that now? I say, I don't know why you wouldn't want to connect yours. I can just keep going that way. Alright, so we are doing... White. White. They're all femurs. Oh, shit. Shoot. Wait, you are just a I am potty mouth tonight. I am full of it tonight. Would you do throw that on the scoreboard? I did. And the scoreboard you don't really use until the end of the game, so you don't really have to have that out if you don't want, but I just wanted to put it all up because it looks cool. All right, so you done? Yes. I am paying a bone. I'm going to take two. I blame my allergies. I'm not going to do that one yet. I'm going to be working on these two, so I need blue and red. So I guess I will take those. Alright. My turn. Give me skulls. Black. I'm going to go here. Um, and I'm going to pay red. I'm going to take a bone and take. No, I'm not going to take a bone. I'm going to pay a bone and take two. Call me in the morning. Oh, now. Anything but white, so red or gold. I'm gonna take gold, and I'm just gonna take three bones. Me too. Move in a little cloud. So he goes over to gold. My turn. Yep. I almost got this control. I keep forgetting about these over here too. It's a chance to get extra runes. Um, let's see. I just sat there. You can get over you want. Go ahead and do the top one. Top. So I do like the uh, the little push mechanic you have here. Um, you're not only playing for what skull you you want to push out at the end, but you're also playing for what you want to set up for the public action. And you're also not just at the you know luck of the draw out of the bag. So if you draw a skull you don't need, you still have a chance to, you know, get something else that's going to help you more. You do black private. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to play Ziggy there. With his, his runes. So you get one. Yeah, I got two it. Which one are you going to get rid of? White. White. So that white's going to go. And I'm going to pay... My two bones to play another one. And so we have one. Oh no. What? Oh no. Can't do that one. Which one? This one. One of each. There's. Yep, the black's in a bad spot for that. Because you're covered up by two reds. Oh wait. There's nope. black. White. Oh, yeah. So you can go black, gold, white, red. Okay. 
And I just gotta get rid of the white still. So. You have to get rid of another white. Yeah. But I'm not using another white. You're using a white here and a white there. So I just pick a random oh, white. Oh wait, yeah, you are. I guess I could. I think you do only use the one then. But I could go. No, you couldn't. Or you mean for the other one? For the other one. Yeah. Then so. you can get rid of both of them. That's just if you want to get rid of both of them. I want to be fair. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can do it the other way. <clears throat> so I got two little cubies here. And now what are we doing for public? Why did I put my cubes out first? Hey. <laughs> what? You're potty mouth. I didn't do this. This is leftover? Yes, it's skulls leftover. And this is total number, right? Yeah. Okay. You get five points for every skull of that color you used or that you in your summoning guys okay. so you're up to five mm -hmm. i need to uh, i'm not messing around i need to summon some dead here oh look i forgot i bought those runes too ah. hmm. all okay. right so what are we doing for public public action we are going to do red or white we are going to do White. Good, because I have tons of skulls. And I'm going to take a bone. And I'm going to take this one. Okay. I'm going to pay a bone. I'll take those two. Yeah. That's all I need for now. All right, my turn. I like when it's my turn. All right, black. All right, turtles. So, what do I need for my stuff now that you messed everything up? <laughs> I do kind of need a red. I have a red, but I'm going to go here. Gives me a red for my private. I'm going to do black. Hope that I didn't screw myself up again. Almost did it. What? Put it in yours again? Mm -hmm. I think I can just do both of those. Oh no, I can't do that one. I can do both of these though. Ah, crap. Can I do that one? Yeah, I'm going to do that one instead. Okay, so. I am going... Oh, first I need to... Pay a bone to place two skulls. Wait, do I need to place two skulls? Yes, I do. And I'm going to place black, black. Okay. And then I'm going to pay two bones to do two rituals. And I have one, two, three, one. Three blacks and a red, and then I have one, 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 four, one black, one red, two gold, and then I also have two. Oh, wait, that's the guy I didn't want to do. This is the guy I wanted to do. Sorry, two black, two gold. Hmm. I put away the wrong one, and that gives me. Two more rooms there. So I get four. I think I'm going to put three here and one here. All right, so now we get to do. Oh, wait, I have to get rid of a gold and a black. I'm going to do the ones on the outside. So now we get to do anything there that we can. Actually, it's just black or red. Yeah. Wait, you just did black, right? Oh, no, yeah, that, 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 that doesn't private. matter. It's public. So I can do this one or this one.
So yeah, we're going to do black again. So I am going to take a bone and pay a skull. Or play a skull, not pay a skull. Now you get to play. I'm going to take a bone and play a skull. And I'm going to play this guy here, which is three black and one red. I guess I could have been showing those. And I have three black and one red now. I don't have the rune for it. I'm going to play this one, which is three red and one black. And I have a rune for it. Dang it. And I am also going to pay these two bones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And end the game. That doesn't end the game. We have one more round. Three black and one gold, and no rune. So you get to place one, one cube. Crap, there's only one more round though, and it's your, oh no. Yes. I went first. It's my draw. So you get to go, and then we both go again. I'm pretty sure, let me make sure. I think this is one of those that ends like that. Um, every player, including the active player on whose turn the game is triggered, gets one final turn as an active player. Every player. I need to remove a black and a gold. Right? No. Just a red? Um, I need to take off a red. So all the red's gone. Yeah. Here. I almost did what you did. Every player, including the active player on whose turn the game is, tri in game is triggered, gets one final turn as an active player. So no, you get a turn, I get a turn, and then it's over. Because you triggered the end game, but it was on my active turn. So, top, middle, bottom? Um, middle. Middle white. Oh, throwing, oh Lord. throwing bones. It's happening. And that was black. So. All right. So I'm gonna pay this white to go to the scriptorum. Mm -hmm. Man, it's oh. down to the nitty gritty. Oh man, what? Can't do anything. So I think I'm just gonna pay this red. Try to get some extra skulls for points. Yeah. But you only get one. Mm-hmm. My personal. Replay. Replenish that. Then we're gonna go to red. From red or gold. So we're gonna go red. turn. So I get my turn? Yep. And it's at red? Yes. Oh, sweet. That helps me so much. So I am going to, um, I don't know what that was. I am going to take a bone and take a white. Oh, no. What was that? It was on black. I said two on black. Get that red skull out there. Just get a new red skull. The red skull. The red skull. Ah. I don't know why I did Skeletor's voice. I mean, <laughs> I'll get you, he man. All right, my turn. <laughs> Wasn't he kind of like a purple yellow, or was his skull? He was him? purple. Yeah. I think his skull was black. Maybe I don't know. Anybody know what Skeletor's skull color was? Was, was he purple? Yellow? I think it was yellow. No, maybe his outfit was purple. Oh, his outfit is Oh, for some reason I looked at that completely wrong. I can't do that one. Yeah. 
You might want to move that to where red. I went red. So that's going to change how I do things here. Dang it. That really messes me up. Dang it. So I can only do one of those two. This one's worth more points. I hope I don't have enough skulls for that one. Might as well use those bones because you don't get any points for them. I know, I'm just trying to... Dang it. Trying to put some skulls out there, yeah? So I'm going to put this guy... Oh wait, that is going to give me that. Yeah, so I'm good to go for that one. So I'm going to go... Oh, no I'm not. Dang it! So much stuff I want to do and can't do. Hmm. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Get back in there. Was that gold? I don't know. I'm going down here. And I'm going to pay a bone to play. Oh, I'm going to do black. For my personal, pay a bone to place two skulls here, here, and I'm just gonna play one ritual. I take that back. That looks like what's his face from Nickelback. Chad <laughs> it Kroger. does look like Chad Kroger. So two gold or two white, two gold. For some reason, when I looked at that in my hand the first time, I thought it was two black and two gold. I'm like, ah, oh, two black, two gold, right there, perfect. Um, I don't have any things for it, so that's it. And our last turn. What is not going to help you? We're going to go to gold. And I'm going to take three bones. Even though they don't do anything. What do you want, three bones? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of the game. So now we go to our scoring. And since we don't need these anymore, I'm going to pop these out of the way and move the scoring thing in here to the middle. And let's see who wins this. Oh, don't take those. I'm just kidding. <laughs> get the other ones, too. All right, so get all these skulls off the board. Oh, no. Skulls everywhere. Yeah. Don't I don't need, I don't need mine. No. <laughs> There's that one up there. <laughs> okay, so we'll start over here on the left. Oh, well, I guess we could start with our points that we have. Now let's do that last. That'd be cooler. Okay. Now let's do it first. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 4, 68. Sixty-eight. Really? How did we do that? That's well balanced, folks. So now it all comes down to what we bet on. <sighs> so we'll start with uh, black, and again, that is five points per for me. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifty points. So that's a hundred and eighteen. 18, put my thing at 100, you did nothing on black. Mm -mm. Now we go to leftover skulls, you get 5 points for every leftover skull. 2, 4, 6, 7, so 35. So that is 103. So we're at 100 to 103. Um, next one is runes, and it is 4 points for every cube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so twenty-eight. So thirty-eight forty-six. Now you get five points for every red. Or I had one on there. Well you don't. Five points for every red. 
3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 55, that puts you at 58. Uh-oh. Now I get 5 points for every white. 2, 4, 5, so that's 25. So 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, crap, that's going to hurt. I didn't put anything in the... Oh, wait, but I get the gold. So you get 20 points for the cursed star. 10, 20. So you have a seven-point lead going into the final skull. Do I not get the second place? Yeah, you get second place. Okay. So I get five points for every gold, and you get three points for every gold. Count yours up. So I get 35 points. And what do you get? I had seven. So you get seven. 21. Times three is 21. 10, 21. 199 to 206. So it was a close game. <laughs> Didn't, wasn't, uh, when we played this the first time after we got it, wasn't it a one point game? I no, think, no, you... I thought it was a one-point game. I'm pretty sure it was a one-point game the first time we played it. It might have been. Tapestry wasn't a one-point game. <laughs> but yeah, that is uh, Dead Man's Cabal. The camera's going crazy, so I'm going to pop out of here. But um, yeah, it has uh, really good production quality. Um, boards are thick. Um, nice. The cards are nice. Uh, the bones and the skulls are awesome. Oh, cool just to play with. Yeah, the production quality is like out of the top of the And the I little, mean, little um, cow skull there is pretty neat. I'm so excited to see Wayfinders after we saw how this came out, you know. Yeah, that's another game from Pandasaurus that's coming out soon that we uh, play tested. And uh, but yeah, this game, this I really like this game when we play tested it. We play tested it a bunch because we liked it and we're like, hey, you know, we, we pull it out everywhere. That doesn't sound good. But. <laughs> None of us use this. What? The, the market. I, yeah. har I always forget about the market. I could have used the market at the end. The art is absolutely. I'm going to pop here. Great. It's still going crazy, but. Um, let's see. Come on. Focus. Focus. It's not going to. It's not focusing. You Why are you not it. focusing? You oh, there it goes. Easter. So, oh, too close. One of these days, anyway. we're going to have money and get a real mm -hmm. camera. I have the other camera. I used it for an unboxing of tapestry, but I was stupid when I did it. And I didn't like the video, so I didn't post it. <laughs> but we are going to be doing some... Uh, we have another camera. We're going to be doing some non-live stream games um, where it won't have us in it except for the beginning and the end. And it'll just be kind of the board with our better camera until we get the equipment we need to use that to live stream. But anyway, as far as uh, Dead Man's Cabal goes, uh, I like the game a lot. It's, it's not like light light, but it's not too heavy. Um, there's a lot going on, but every time we play tested it with a different group, and we, we haven't taken the production copy and played it with them yet, but um, the one that we play tested is pretty much the same, just looks way crappier. <laughs> but um, it, it wasn't too hard to teach. It was a lot to kind of explain at first, but after we got going and you know got a couple turns in, everybody everybody figured it out pretty well, and uh, it's a fun game. It's got some some cool art here on your zombies, and uh, the boards are boards are cool. And like I said, they're all modular. You can I guess you can't see that now because I took the thing off, but you can move move the boards around your table anywhere you want so that they fit your table better. Um, this one we're playing on uh, right now back here is a smaller table. Dad, what's up, Bob? I need the rest of my pop tie, right? Okay. Good job. Told me I could have Come over here and say hi. But um, yeah, hi. it's <laughs> say hi. hi. Pop tart face. <laughs> but um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. 
It was coming the whole time. But great production quality. It's a fun game. Um, there's, it's it's kind of thinky over here on your uh, ossuary when you're. That's double sided. I didn't know that was double sided. Are they all double sided? I think so. They are all double sided. Huh. Didn't even know that until I picked it up. But um, yeah, the uh, trying to figure out where you want to go here to, you know, maximize your personal turn and the skulls you're getting and the that what's going to be the public turn and trying to affect you know what's going to be the public turn it has some good strategy and it's you know kind of thinky in that in that way and also out here on the out here on the sanctum trying to as you can see we messed up a couple times but trying to set up your you know combos and then you know, you could be setting one up a turn or two ahead of time and somebody take their personal turn in the sanctuary or sanctum and screw you up like you did that one time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a fun game. There's a, a lot of different ways to score. The, the, betting on the, uh, the betting on your final points here is pretty cool too. We didn't spread them out as much as we normally do. Normally we have a couple in each one. Mm -hmm. I kind of knew I had a bunch of black that time, so I wanted to make sure I had that. It's fun at two, but it's even more fun at four, honestly. Yeah, once you get three or four players out there and everybody's putting... You know, when you take a turn at the Sanctum, then you figure with four players, even if nobody pays bones, uh, you're putting four skulls out. And you have a chance to have like eight skulls out there, and then, you know, you, you're going to go through your cards a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. does have a chance to make the game quicker that way, but... But yeah, it's it's pretty fun. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad when we got it, and it's fun play testing, and it's fun to play. So if you see it out there, pick it up. Good game for Halloween. Good themed game for Halloween. So that's Dead Man's Cabal by Pandasaurus Games. Check it out. Um, we'll probably be having a uh, playthrough of Tapestry soon. I think that one might be one that we try to do. Um, not live mm -hmm. and then kind of throw it up afterwards that way because that game can be a little longer can be a couple hours long and um, it, I think it'd be easier just to to play through that and and throw it up keep the semi shorter games here but we are going to have another giveaway um, I'm just gonna announce it now but I'll probably put the post up sometime later this week over there but we're going to be giving away a copy of throw throw burrito this is our copy this is a kickstarter edition but uh, when i got the kickstarter in i ordered an extra retail edition with it so we're going to be giving away a retail edition of throw throw burrito so keep an eye on our group in the next couple days um i gotta get the last one um sent out that we had once I get that one sent out, then we'll go ahead and set up um, something for that. But that is a fun game, too. We had uh, a good time with it at uh, at Gen Con. Derek almost killed himself. <laughs> um, we had a Skybound versus Mythic Games showdown. I didn't. Well, yeah. The royal we. Um. We're also starting to plan for the 24-hour marathon, so... Yeah, we'll be doing our Extra Life um, marathon. I don't, I, I don't even want to say what month yet, but... Soon? Some month between September and De January. Yeah. December-juary. January. Well, it might be in December. That's why I didn't want to say between. But, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try to get some uh, special guests there to play with us, maybe um but we'll be playing again trying to raise money for extra life for Akron children's hospital mm -hmm. and that will we'll have more details on that soon once we uh knock down some of the details but we want to thank you all for coming mm -hmm. go ahead what were you gonna say i don't think i was gonna say anything you went i did i cut you off i'm sorry no that's all right but yeah so that was dead man's cabal great game go out and buy it right now mm -hmm. even if you can't you know, find somebody, steal it from them. Don't do that. No. But um, 
I want to thank you guys for coming out, and we will see you next time. And, oh, <laughs> bye. Bye.